Hi there, my name is Sonny Singh. I'm an Applications Engineer with Amatech Drexelbrook. Today we'll be going over how to change the calibration modes on the point. In our demonstration we will be using the line power version of the point, but the procedure is exactly the same on the two wire version as well. So let's get started. We currently have a line powered point transmitter hooked up to 120 volts AC. To start, let's go over the anatomy of this particular unit. You have your universal power supply connections. This particular unit will take in 24 volt DC, 120 volt or 220 volts AC. You have your double pole double throw relay connections from 4 through 9. Going over to the other side of the unit, you have a 3 pin connector. This will be used to change the calibration modes on the unit. You have your recalibration button. A green LED when lit that indicates power to the transmitter. A red LED. If I were to touch the probe, the red LED will look actuate and turn on. This indicates that the probe is in the alarm state. When I let go of the probe, the light will go out. In the middle, we have a 0 to 60 second, 270 degree time delay pot. Moving over, we have our failsafe jumper to indicate high level or low level failsafe. Next up, you have your time delay jumper. This is for forward or reverse acting time delay. And the lastly, if you are in manual calibration, this is your manual calibration adjustment pot. Now as for the calibration modes, the point has a total of eight calibration modes to adapt to a wide variety of applications. The eight modes consist of both auto and manual calibration selections. To access the calibration modes, you want to temporarily remove the time delay jumper and place it on pins one and two of the three pin connector. That will be these two pins right here. In other words, the two pins closest to the red LED. Once you do this, the green LED will go out and the red LED will begin to flash. The number of flashes indicates which mode the unit is in. For example, if you are in mode 2, the red LED will flash twice, turn off and pause, and then flash twice again. Let's see what that looks like. I will remove the time delay jumper, place it on the first two pins closest to the red LED, or pins number 1 and 2. The green LED goes out, and as you can see, the red LED flashes twice, pauses, and then flashes twice again. This indicates the mode, so this particular unit is in mode 2. To switch modes, you want to press and hold down the recalibration button, and the unit will cycle through the modes. So first, the unit will flash twice, indicating mode 2, turn off and pause, and then flash three times to indicate mode 3, turn off and pause, and then flash four times, and so on, while it cycles through all of the modes all the way up to mode 8. So let's say we want to go to mode 4. I'm going to hold down the recalibration button. Now it flashed three times, paused. On the next cycle, it will flash four times. And then you let go. You want to double check the number of flashes. So as you can see, it flashed four times and then paused. That indicates that we're now in mode four. Once you've decided what mode you're in, you can remove the time delay jumper from pins one and two and place it back on your time delay pins. Once that's done, the red LED will stop flashing, the green LED will turn back on to indicate your power, and the mode is properly selected, and you're done. Thanks for watching.